Hello again everybody, I hope you're doing well and this week we have a full offering of brand new football shirt to show you. I have a little bit of backlog of football shirts so it's only best that I sort of uh, get them open and see what they look like in person and today I'm going to be doing something that I don't do too often and that is I'm going to be opening and showing you a football shirt that I bought only just last week. I have in my office here shirts that go all the way back to January which kind of shows you how far back the backlog is um, but sometimes on occasion a shirt just is too good to wait for. I get some people asking me, how do you have all the self-control not to open the parcel straight away? And for the most part, that something is not too difficult for me. But on occasion, I just need to see a shirt in person. Looking at them online is one thing, but seeing them in the flesh really allows you to determine if a shirt is good or not. I really hope this shirt is very good because it's a shirt that I have been mentioning a few times on social media. If you go back a couple of weeks, I did a video on the Canadian Premier League and we looked at all of the new shirts that are going to be worn during the upcoming Canadian Premier League season. And of course, there was one that stood out certainly more than the rest. And it's not going to surprise you that that jumped pretty much towards the top of my wish list. Well, I have something here. It is a parcel from Macron, which can only suggest one thing, that at the very least, I've bought probably a Canadian Premier League shirt. But which one is it? Well, I think it's best I open up the parcel first, ensure it is the one I ordered, and then we can have a little bit closer look and inspection at the one that I have bought. So let's try and get into this in a prompt fashion. I think I just got to cut through this and then uh, right then the moment of truth is upon us do you guys want to see what it looks like first there's probably nothing there is there okay right then so it is a box shirt so we have um just a general macron um bit of marketing spiel there but right okay Big box, there's nothing else in there, so we'll get rid of you. There we go. There is a shirt. I think we all know what this means. It is a beautiful piece there. I am so excited to open this. It's, it's not often that I buy a shirt that really, really stands out. Um, a good example, of course, was the Club America shirt, what I bought immediately. And I cannot wait to show these together because I think they complement each other perfectly. Um, let's get it out of the bag and see what it's like. Okay. Very careful. Oh, there's something else in here. What's this? I have, I think they're stickers. It's a sticker. It says... Hope and health on it. And then, I think it's a sticker. I presume you don't do anything with a shirt, but okay. That's a little something extra. Right then. Anyway. There is the rear of the shirt. Now, if you stood behind somebody and you saw the shirt, you might think, oh, that's somewhat interesting design but most of it of course is white where of course the player name and number will be if that's what you wanted to get it personalized but then you turn it around to the front and this is where the party is occurring it is a beautiful shirt i am so happy to own this shirt you have no idea. Wow. Okay then, so I'm going to do what I usually do. I will dress the mannequin very carefully. I really don't want to damage this one because I have a feeling it's going to be quite difficult to buy another if that is the case. Uh, but yeah, dress the mannequin, come back to you with some information about the club and the shirt itself. Wow. I know these designs are not for everybody, but for me, I really like those, as you well know, and just seeing them both together, it's just, <sighs> it blows my mind sometimes that these shirts exist. Anyway, this shirt, of course, is the Pacific 
FC away shirt from 2022. It is going to be worn throughout the upcoming season. And I'm pretty jealous that their fans get to see this each and every week. Now, if you watch the Canadian shirt review video that I did, you will know that, of course, that this shirt, once it was released, sold out immediately. And you can understand why. It's a very, very wild to design. Um, and that thought, and when I realized that that was the case, I was like, um, well, this could be difficult then for me to get it in the UK. Now, in the UK, we do get an opportunity to buy the Canadian Premier League shirts, generally through the Macron store, the online store, and then later on down the line, classic football shirts sort of get, I suppose, their dead stock. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a discounted price, but you're going to have to wait a season or maybe two to sort of catch up to those. So I went onto the Macron store, and they had this shirt on there, and I clicked on it, and it was not available in any size. So it's maybe they just put it on there as a placeholder, but it shows that they had the intent to want to sell it, which is fine by me. I'm not in any massive rush, though I would like to get it sooner rather than later. It will just become a game of having to refresh and check periodically to see when they drop the stock, because I was never going to know. There's no notification process. Um, just have to get lucky. Maybe a few nights later, I thought, I'll just have a look. And to my surprise, there were small and medium sizes available. And at that point, of course, there's a decision to be made. Do I buy it? Because possibly, though not likely, this could be my only chance to get it in a medium. So, obviously, I have bought the shirts. And I remember I refreshed the page once I'd made my uh, order. And there were none left in medium. So at the very least, I bought the last one. Not necessarily, though, bought the only one, but I bought the last one. As it stands from filming right now, the small is still available, but there's nothing else available in any size. I'm sure as the season progresses, that will update. Generally, that's what happens on Macron. Um, so keep your eyes open if you are still looking to buy one. Uh, but right now, unless you're a small, you are not going to be able to pick one up. So they are for sale for £63.99, which is you know, a pretty standard price for a football shirt. But because I'd never purchased anything from Macron before, I had £10 off if you spend greater than £50, which clearly I had. So that saved me £10. However, because of uh, their shipping, which comes from Italy, that's quite expensive. It was £13.80 to ship to the UK. So the £10 saving was covering most of the shipping. So the price was still, you know, decently high. But on occasion... It was worth it. I've always wanted to buy more from Macron because obviously Macron, possibly my favorite manufacturer, um, but it's just the high prices and then the shipping kind of discourages that a little bit. And then generally, like I said, classic football shirts end up getting them at a discounted price. So sometimes it's just worth waiting for that. With regards to the shirt itself, they are from the Greater Victoria area of British Columbia. Of course, they are one of the inaugural Canadian Premier League teams. And... Recently, they just won the Canadian Premier League, so the 2021 champions are Pacific FC, which I can only imagine is what the little sort of leaf above the crest is for, signifying a championship. I may be wrong on that, but I guess it makes sense for that to be the case. Forge FC won the first season and the second season, and then in, Can in Canada they have the regular season, and then the top four go to a playoff format, and then the first and fourth play each other, second and third play each other, and then they go to the final, and whoever wins that is technically the champion. So Forge FC won the regular season again for 2021. Pacific FC finished third. And um, anyway, Pacific FC got through to the final against Forge and beat them. So to stop Forge from winning the first three titles and getting a hat-trick, that's pretty impressive, I'd say. So uh, that's nice knowing that I've got a shirt for a team that could well possibly win the league once again, which further adds a little bit more history to that shirt itself so the shirt is interesting because it has this wild design it is primarily a salmon and a child's face apparently and it's meant to be representing the rejuvenation and the resilience of indigenous peoples so as i mentioned in my previous video this is apparently the first canadian sports uh team where that has representation of um, indigenous peoples of Canada, which is a beautiful 
beautiful um, sort of um, aspect to, to a shirt. I love when they have a little bit of history regarding not necessarily just to the, the club, but to the surrounding area uh, and the city itself. Um, and apparently a percentage of the proceeds will be donated to charity at the end of the season, which based on this could quite well be quite a lot of money if they're able to make more of these shirts because the demand is very, very high. I know that there's been quite a few people, well, let's say a few people, a, a small number of people who have been already posting this shirt on Instagram. So they'll have either bought it directly for people who live in Canada. I know there's somebody from uh, UK who's already ordered one and got one. So it's definitely going to be one that you're going to see floating around quite frequently. Uh, one thing that they get pointed out to me though that I cannot ever unsee anymore um, is that <laughs> it looks like E.T. That bit there looks like E.T.'s face. And now you've seen the image, you will never forget that either. Um, and I think that's amazing because I think that looks, <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Um, so I love my E.T. shirt. Um, of course you do have this giant Volkswagen sponsor which is transferred on but it kind of fits quite nicely in the um sort of pattern there i mean it's not the most ideal of sponsors and it's quite large but for what it is it it kind of fits in there i think possibly the at&t one on the club america shirt looks maybe a little bit better uh but you know it it, it, it is what it is um but for the for the rest of the shirt i just love the fact that they have the um, primary colours, the sort of the teal and the purple, sort of on the trims, running down the uh, the collar there, and also on the hem on the either side, they've got opposite ends of the colours, and I just like the small details. And and to be honest, the shirt feels quite durable. It's quite rather heavy. I think certainly at the top, the collar is quite a heavy collar, but the material is really, really, really um, sort of premium feeling. Of course, it has the uh, Canadian Premier League patch on the sleeve like you would uh, get on an every sort of shirt you buy from the Canadian Premier League it's similar to sort of MLS and to a certain degree uh, La Liga in Spain but I I mean what else do I need to say it's a crazy shirt and I know that there's some people out there watching these videos now who won't necessarily like the shirt and that's totally fine but there's probably some of you who really want this uh, and I would advise you yeah go for it it's so good it's really 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 nice um, this is my second, well, technically my third, but we'll say officially my second Canadian team to the collection. Um, the rest of the shirts released were not that stand out. The Ford shirts were decent, and I suppose they are a decent team, so maybe we'll pick up one of those uh, if the truck prices do drop. Um, but I am definitely satisfied now. My scratch that this has been itched, and um, yeah, just seeing those two shirts together, really, really cool. Macron, as always kicking it out of the park anyway that is the end of this video what a great way to start a week the one on wednesday is going to be my final birthday present to show you and then on friday it's mystery box time it's that time again april has come and effectively gone i wonder what i'm going to receive in that box is it going to be as good as this shirt well probably not but that's going to be a very difficult thing to do anyway guys hope you guys have a great week ahead as always thank you for watching my videos see you next time goodbye